Hello guys, welcome back to another rainy episode of 4 damage on the Mindcrack Season 5 server. Yes, I did Season 5 right this time. Hello BTC, how are you? Still haven't got rid of this top stuff. Haven't played a whole bunch. I've been uh, going through a spell of sleeping really badly. And that coupled with recording time being only 3 days a week in the morning doesn't work well, so I haven't really been on the server a whole bunch of the last uh, week or so. But anyway, we are here now, today, and we are ready to start working on some stuff. I don't know if there's an iron farm anywhere yet. I know Doc said he was going to work on one, but I don't think he has. So until we have an iron farm, we're not going to be working on the Minecraft rail network. And one of my sheep are blue. Why is one of my sheep blue? Why are two of my sheep blue? Who is coloring the sheep of Minecraft rail network? What are these people playing at? Grr. Anger. And annoyance. Did I color it blue? I don't think I colored it blue. Anyway, we're going to work on some things today. Um, I've got some stuff ready. So let's go... Well, you know what? Let's wait for the rain to finish being rain. Then we can talk a bit quieter. And you can hear me a bit better. Literally the second I stopped recording, it stopped raining. Are you serious? Anyway, we've got a couple of donations to thank. Eric N. Um, I mentioned him in the last episode uh, as a new donation, but I didn't put him in the book, so he's now in the book. And Emily B. is also in the book. Thank you very much for your donations. Very much appreciated. Very kind of you. If you too would like to donate, there is a link in the description to do so, and all donations will go back towards the channel, yada 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 yada. All the donations feel. Let's see if we can make this jump again. I failed last time. Hey, you guys are chilling. Those green sheep look kind of cool. I like the, that green colour. Anyway. Dun 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 dun. Jump. Nailed it. Nailed it. Did it. Nice. Hey, you're gonna give me some wheat. Wheat? Uh, reeds. Thank you. Um, anyway. Let's work on... I put the donation book back, right? I didn't just drop it on the ground or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where did I put it? Okay, yeah. We got it back. Anyway, let's go work on something. So, um, what I want to do is... It's something that I was planning on doing in the last map, too. Never got around to it. It's actually why I built that shuffler device in the last map. Uh, let's grab some cobble. As you can see, I'm kind of sorting out my items slowly but surely. With a single chest, it looks a lot bigger. If we put the double chest on top, it just takes away so much space, it seems. So I really like the, the single chest. What we can do, though, is put a chest underneath in the ground there. That will work. But anyway, let's grab those. Let's grab, we've got that, we've got redstone. Do I have any spare hoppers? I don't think so. Which means I'm going to have to waste some chests to do this. How many hoppers am I going to want? We've got one. I'm going to want one. I want to shuffle, what, about 20 items? Oh, three hoppers is fine then. Yeah, three hoppers is fine. Okay, let's uh, grab some hoppers. Or oh, make two more hoppers, even. Boop, boop. Let's put the chest in the right place. Excellent. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Do I have a comparator? I have repeaters. That'll come in handy. Do, do, do. I don't think I do. I think I made one and used it downstairs, or made several and used them downstairs. Do I have any quartz? I don't look like I have any quartz either, really. Wow. I have a, Oh no, I have some quartz. Good, good, good. So then we're going to need some smooth stone. Let's grab some of that. One, two, three. And let's go boop. Boop. We should be fine with just one of these. That's not how you make it. I always do that backwards for some reason. I never do the bow backwards, I never do the flint and steel backwards, but that's the one that gets me all the time. Uh, anyway, let's just, for now, build this on the roof, I guess. That, oh, we do need to make something else quickly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do that. Excellent. 
build us on the roof, then we can keep an eye on BTC. Make sure he's not doing anything he shouldn't be. Eh? Eh? Eh. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if it's a spoiler or anything or something. I don't know. He's building something. Anyway, let's do... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, crap, I need a pick. Can I break this feather pick? No, I need a pick. God dang it. God diggity dang it. Let's go get a pick. Um, I'd rather not use you. So, let's just make one, I guess. Boop, 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 boop. And that's not a pick. That is a line of sticks. That's a shovel. There we go. Pick made. Okay. Head back up here. I may want an extra dropper, actually. Hmm, that's an idea. So, for those of you who haven't seen last season, this is a shuffling device. So what we can do is put, say, a piece of cobble, a stick, a piece of iron, chest, redstone, nether quartz, that thing, some meat, and a feather. And then if we make ourselves a lever, because I didn't bring a button, and levers are superior anyway, there we go. And we go like this. If we toggle this, that dropper is going to keep dropping items. And because of the nature of um, droppers, it picks a random item out of uh, nine possible slots. Or all of its possible slots if ni all nine aren't full. So then we should see that we have a random uh, distribution of items now. We now have the chest at the top. If we go a little bit more, just kind of fiddle with it, play with it, make it wiggle we should see that it's now changed again. So that's the basic idea of what we want, is a shuffling device. So I'm going to build that in a proper location somewhere, and I will be back with you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so we are just in the basement here of the ad pad, and we have this little shuffler set up here. We may build a bigger one with more hoppers, uh, but for now this is fine. So if we put a couple of books in here, this will automatically start shuffling the books, you see? How they're randomly taken and changed and stuff. And then if we flip that, we should have one that comes out. That's the basic idea of what we're going for. Let's turn off the shuffler quickly. I have lost a book somewhere. I did make six of them. I don't know where one of them went though. Which is rather strange. But anyway, that's the idea. Let's see if it's actually upstairs in one of these chests. <laughs> so the idea here is that we're going to have a whole bunch of books. We're going to have... Um, I'm thinking that's... Um, that's our donator one. Huh. It has generally vanished because I had a stack of books. And I... It's generally vanished. It's, it's vanished. I had a stack of books. I made six, because now I have six less than a stack. That's interesting. Anyway, we're going to make um, a certain amount of books, which are actually going to be cards. Um, we're kind of working on a sort of collectible card game. So we're going to make for the first wave at least 29, because that'll be one for each Mindcracker, and then 29 Mindcrackers. And then I think we'll make. This thing can hold up nine, um, nine, nineteen, twenty-three. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. I guess we'll need to lengthen this then. Okay, we can do that. Um, but yeah, we'll make maybe thirty-nine, thirty-five, thirty-nine, something in the in the thirty to forty area. Um, and what it's going to be? It's going to be kind of Magic the Gathering, kind of Pokemon, kind of that kind of stuff. Let's make one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make six. Why not? Go crazy. 
Yeah, it's going to be kind of a Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, collectible card game kind of dealy. Top Trumpsy almost. Um, I, I've had this idea for a long time. In fact, I tweeted about it. Uh, I didn't tweet about the exact idea. Um, I asked for how would you decide who goes first randomly, um, which we got some replies to for that tweet. Let's go one, two, three. Let's grab this guy. Okay, yeah, you went in there. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Let's get our way up. Do. There we go. Uh, where did you go? Oh, you would have gone here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Book six. Oh, were you in there? Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Hmm. That may be an issue later on. Uh, but anyway, that's that. Let's now extend the redstone round. Redstone torch. Redstone dust. And this redstone dust doesn't affect the hoppers, I believe. Or I don't believe. Somebody doesn't believe something. Okay, so that's not good. I would need another hopper below that, which won't ever get powered to fix that. So for now, what we'll do is remove this chest, and we can just grab the, the stuff from that hopper. Okay, so that's the idea. We're going to create a whole bunch of cards. Like I said, something in the 30 to 40 range. We're going to make a rule book. Each card is also going to contain a copy of the rules. Uh, the basic idea is that you'll have a, a card that may be like, I don't know, an iron golem. And it will have a health, it will have a speed, it will have... It's not something I've completely thought out. It will have um, some other attributes. It will also have some moves which it can do. And uh, its moves will take away health of another person. It will increase its health. It will do such and such. It will do stuff, like Pokemon. And... If you win the battle, you go up to somebody who has another card and you say, I challenge you, and they accept or, de or decline. And whoever has the highest speed on their particular card, you can only carry one in your inventory, unless you obviously you've just won something. You can only carry one in your inventory. Whoever has the highest speed goes first. And then it's a back and forth of, of um, trying to kill the other person, or the other person's monster. And whoever wins wins the card, and off you frolic into the world. You can also do friendly matches and stuff like that. Uh, but that's the basic idea. Uh, it's a collectible card game in Minecraft. I'm not sure if anybody's even going to play it, but it's an idea that I've wanted to implement for a while, so I'm going to. Uh, so I'm going to need to design a whole bunch of cards, which is not going to be something exciting to watch on camera at all. So... I guess I will see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so I've written up some rules here. That's all I've managed to do thus far. I haven't written up any creatures, which is a shame. Running out of time. But anyway, Tome Monsters. That's the name I decided to go for because I thought of it really fast and that was it. And let's say, hey. Anyway, Tome Monsters. There may be a better name. You guys could probably come up with one. Tome Monsters is a collectible book game. Each book or tome is unique and only exists, and only one copy exists. You can collect them by challenging other players as gifts or by finding hidden tomes in the world. Each tome describes a creature trapped within the pages of the tome who can be summoned to fight upon your behalf. Due to the powerful magic used to contain the creature's only one tome can be kept within your inventory to fight with. You cannot challenge other players when carrying more than one tome. You cannot accept challenges when carrying more than one tome. Any additional tomes gained must be placed in chests as quickly as possible and cannot be used for fighting. Each tome contains the creature's name, description, speed, health and abilities. Also noted are the tome's set and, num and collector number. Each tome also has a copy of these rules. If the rules from different sets conflict, the rules from the newest set apply. To fight another player, tell them that, you're cha that you challenge them. 
If the player accepts, both players simultaneously type the name of the card they will be using into the chat. A player may refuse a challenge at no cost. A fight consists of several rounds. After each player has given the name of their creature, they will you they will the creature they will use. Sorry, it's really hard to read out loud. <laughs> they state the speed and health as given on the tomb or the tome. Tomb tome tom. Tim time tam tam tomb tom tome tome. I think tome is right. Anyway, it is important to keep the track. It is important to keep track of any changes in these numbers in the chat. The creature with the highest speed goes first. The owner of the tome chooses one of the creature's abilities and states its effect. The effect of the ability happens and play passes to the creature with the next highest speed. Once all creatures have performed an action, players compare speeds again to set the, no uh, to set the next round's turn order. Unless an ability says otherwise, the same ability may not be performed two rounds in a row. Players may look at each other's tomes at any point. The fight continues in this manner until only one creature remains alive. The owner of the surviving creature is deemed the winner. The winner may take the losing player's tomb, or tome, something, whatever. See previous uh, page for rules about carrying multiple tomes. As well as winning tomes in fights, or receiving tomes as gifts, tomes may also be hidden, uh, be found in hidden chests and other containers in the world. They may be hidden in plain sight or deep underground and may contain special creatures beyond a, a normal set. That is ruled thus far, a rules version 0.1 I guess, they may be updated. I did think I spotted a couple of mistakes in there while doing it. Luckily I've been writing them in Notepad++ so I can just kind of copy the rules in as I write them. Unfortunately I'm now going to have to erase the book which is a bit of a pain in the ass but hey ho. Uh, we also need to write a whole bunch of creatures, so like I said, something in the 30 to 40 range. Uh, maybe even more to go outside the scope of the normal um, set. So we have like creature 41 out of 40, for example, something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's the idea. Let me know what you guys kind of think in the description. I'm going to update the rules a little bit. I'm going to write some creatures and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alrighty, so it is actually taking quite some time. It's raining again as well, but it's actually taking quite some time to... so loud, the rain is so loud it's quieter if we get up into the actual body of the ad pad well, not quite <laughs> let's turn it down dun, dun, dun. music sounds weather? nice, okay yeah, it's actually taken quite some time to create creatures, so far I've only created one, it's taken about half an hour um, this is for the iron golem Iron golems have roamed the land for so long, the land has started to grow over them. When the villagers came to this land, they were afraid of the lumbering golems, until a child gave a flower to them. In return, the golems have given them their protection. And its speed is 2, so it's quite a low speed. Its health is 100, which may change. It's, this is the thing I don't know. I haven't balanced or playtested or anything of any of this. So these cards are completely... They're going to change, definitely, because I haven't balanced or playtested or anything. So yeah, they're going to change. Uh, health is 100, which is high. It's going to have a high health anyway, because it's the Iron Golem. They, they are known for having high health. It has the arm swing, target is dealt 8 damage, it has launch, roll 1d6, which is 1 6-sided dice, target is dealt damage equal to the dice value, and then rest, must be chosen after launch, this creature rests. And that is that, then it has a copy of the rules, the rules have changed slightly, there's an additional page, if an ability calls for a random number, or dice roll, um, random.org slash dice, or physical six sided dice d6 can be used. And here, due to the powerful magic used to contain creatures, you can only summon a creature if you have uh, only one tome in your inventory. That is the addition to the rules. Let me also change it. I think I've changed that here. Only summon a creature yet, but I haven't added on the part about the dice so let me do that boom okay but yeah I'm kind of running out of time now uh, I've got a lot of things that I need to get done uh, let's grab this book go name that got a lot of things I've got to get done 
uh, today, housework, and, well, I was going to do some other recording, but I don't have time anymore. <laughs> ah, it's taken a while. Hey, you just go. You just go. It's my farm. Being super reed farm. So it's going to be another short episode, I'm afraid, because it's not even 20 minutes at this point. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's name this season season se se season five donators. Excellent. And let's grab this one and name this the Iron Golem. Uh, S one zero one zero thirty-five. That's the other Oh crap, I didn't name it, did I? Son of a bitch. Uh da 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 Iron Golem S one uh zero one thirty-five. The other thing I need to include in the book is that it's set one and it's one of thirty-five. Um, I've, I've decided arbitrarily to go for 35 in set 1 plus the additional ones. I have one idea for one special card right now, and other ones not going to be too hard to think of. Uh, so it'll round up to about 40 odd, which will be nice. It's quite a nice view from up here, I like it up here. We need to work on our thing too, apparently um, uh, Jay Sano I think added a deck to our floor of the castle, of not the castle, the tower. Let's go have a look at that. Where can I include the set number? I've only got like three characters left there on that page. Um, here... Okay, I could include it there. I do have plenty of room on that page. Um, it's kind of hard to work on all the abilities because that, like, three is pushing it. I would like more abilities in that. Otherwise it's just, you choose ability 1, then you have to choose ability 2, then you have to choose ability 1, then you have to choose ability 2, with at least 3, at least you have some kind of, um, planning? Planning's not the word, strategy, strategy is the word I'm after. Uh, vintage beef, Sev, and the gyms, Addison J. Sano. J. Sano. Oh yeah, he has. Oh, 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 jeez. That's not safe. He's had a nice big deck all the way around. Oh, it's a nice wraparound deck. Oh, that pretty. Oh. I think I'm going to have my door here. For this. Should use a sip touch, really, but I don't have one, so suck it. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Um, do I have any wood to make doors? I do not. Thanks, Jaysano, for the balcony. I like it very much. Whoop. Bloop. Done. Alrighty. So let me know what you guys think about the idea um, of the collectible book game, card game, two monsters, tome monsters, whatever. Uh, if you have any ideas for creatures, let me know. Um, obviously, Minecraft mobs are going to be a big thing. Probably mind crackers are going to be a big thing. Famous mind crack animals are going to be a big thing. Um, off the top of my head, I can think of like our horses and Sparky, um, pets maybe even. I don't know. Let me know what you guys have ideas for. Um, also, just any creatures in general, like uh, Hydra or something weird, because there's not enough. Uh, Minecraft creatures, well, there's going to be enough for at least one set with uh, Minecraft creatures and a Mindcrack famous animals. Uh, but to get additional sets, we'll probably need to go out the bounds of the fictional universe which we are in, I guess. This is places looking kind of cool. He's carving it, it's really weird. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you spotted any mistakes in the rules or if anything seems grossly unbalanced in the rules. Didn't make the jump again. I can make that jump, I swear is it. I want to set up a parkour course all around Spawn Town. Anyway, I'm going to go because I have things to do and this has dragged on for a while now. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next episode.